This is devotional number 190, and today's date is December 16th, 2016. And we have been looking at 1 Corinthians 13, 5 to 10 this week, actually for the last couple of weeks, and we're down to verse 10, uh, which speaks about knowing in part and prophesying in part. And, and we learned that these will be done away with when that which is perfect is come. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, word, but when that which is perfect. We know that Christ came spiritually in judgment against the churches on May 21, 1988. And then that judgment uh, transitioned to the world at large on May 21, 2011. Uh, there is a related word uh, to this word, uh, but, uh, that which is perfect, and which is Strong's number 5046. The related word is actually Strong's number 5048. And it's found, for example, in Hebrews 2.10 and Hebrews 5, 8 through 9. And it actually helps us to recognize the similar role that the body of Christ is called to fulfill today. Uh, emulating the Savior, uh, the, what the Savior had to suffer, essentially because of the fact that the body of Christ has been completed. The temple, all the bricks in the temple are in place as of May 21, 2011. I'll read Hebrews 2.10 first. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Also, Hebrews 5, 8 through 9 uh, adds this statement. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Now, we also... Uh, if we go, you know, Paul made the statement in Philippians 3.10 that also uh, is really appropriate for our time, especially today, throughout history for sure, but especially at this point where believers are involved in a fiery trial and they are being severely tested as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were as well in their day although it's not a literal fire that we're in, but it is a spiritual fire. And that spiritual fire is designed to make a distinction between the gold, silver, and precious stones and the wood, hay, and stubble. The wood, hay, and stubble will obviously be burnt up, but the gold, silver, and precious stones are going to be purified the dross is going to be taken away. And that's not just a one-pass um, elimination of the dross. It's a continual process that goes on and on and on and on, over and over and over again. As uh, uh, metallurgists do when they're trying to refine gold and silver, I'm told, you don't take it all you don't take out all the dross on the first pass it has to happen again and again and again um, there is a passage that i'd like to look at it's in john 15 and uh, this just came to mind uh, verses 14 to uh, 21 that i think is helpful you know in this regard because uh, well, let me go ahead and read it. Let's start with verse 15. I'm sorry, verse 14. Uh, ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. 
Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own, his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you, <clears throat> excuse me, out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. And so with regard to our understanding of Scripture and the fact that we are being tried uh, most severely uh, during this time, and yet we have to look at the purpose behind all of this, and I believe that can be expressed uh, and is expressed beautifully in Ephesians 4, 13 through 16 till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Again, that's 5046. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love.